on pages 446 and 447 of your textbook, there is a discussion of Newton's law of cooling and heat transfer. And in the reading, they go ahead and derive Newton's law of cooling, which is H minus H sub S equals H naught minus H sub S times E to the negative KT. Now I know you've all read the discussion, but let me go ahead and point out some of the key features of this equation. H sub S is a constant representing the surrounding temperature. H sub zero is your initial temperature. And K is a constant K is a constant of proportionality related to the object that's cooling. In example 3 on page 447, we're looking at a hard-boiled egg that's dropped in a sink full of water and we want to know when that egg is going to reach 20 degrees Celsius. Now they give us some initial information. The hard-boiled egg starts out at 98 degrees Celsius. That's our initial temperature at time zero. The water is 18 degrees Celsius. That's our surrounding temperature. And we know that H is 38 degrees at T equals 5 minutes. So, we're going to use this fact here to find K. Let's go ahead and do that. Substituting what we know into our equation, we get 38 minus 18 equals 98 minus 18 e to the negative k times 5, or negative 5k. Let's go ahead and simplify this and solve for k. This is 20. This must be 80, e to the negative 5k. Divide by 80, we get 0.25, e to the negative 5k, negative 5k. Natural log of both sides. Natural log of 0.25 equals negative 5k. So our constant, K, is natural log of 0.25 over negative 5. Now I'm going to do a little rearranging with this based on what I know about natural logs. And this turns out to be since this is 1 over 4, that's 4 
to the negative 1, bring my negative out front, and I get natural log of 4 over negative 5, and those negatives cancel. And so my constant is log 4 over 5. I think in your book they said that is 0.2 log 4. 0 0.2 log 4. Once you've figured out k, you can go back to your equation and find out when it's going to equal twenty degrees. We now know that H minus eighteen equals eighty E to the negative zero point two natural log of 4 times t and we need to find out when it's going to be 20 degrees so we throw 20 in where h is and we solve for t And this is as ugly as it looks. Uh, we get a 2 over here. Divide by 80. And we get 1 over 40. natural log of both sides and get the natural log of 1 over 40 equals negative 0 0.2 natural log of 4 times t and we're going to divide by this I'm going to do my little trick here where I make this negative log of 40 and that's going to look like this t equals negative 0 0.2 natural log of 4 over negative natural log of 40. Oh, fiddlesticks. Did you see what I did there? Got my numerator and my denominator messed up because I went and switched my equation around. Let's try that again. Negative natural log of 40. See, I could have edited this out, but I decided not to. This is negative 0 0.2 natural log of 4. And why don't we just plug that into the old calculator. And we're going to see that that's around 13 minutes. Now I made a special point of going through this example because when you get to the exercises uh, like those on page 452 numbers 22, 23, and 24 you're going to have to use Newton's Law of Cooling to solve the problems and I wanted you to see that in action.